girls, welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. We've got another bargain shop, a returning favourite, may I just add. And this time I haven't even had to leave the comfort of me home to get these goodies delivered. So my lovelies, you would have seen by the title and the thumbnail, we have a huge cherries haul. And if you haven't heard of cherries, you must have been living under a rock. Um, I've actually worked with cherries quite a few times now, so mwah, thank you very much. This box was very kindly gifted, but... Don't worry, because I've got a little gift for you. I will tell you in the video we have another discount code, my lovelies. So if you are new to cherries, why not give it a go and have a little bit of a discount? So I'm not going to rat a tat tat because we have a good old selection in here. We've got a little bit of homeware. We've got some snacks. We've got quite a few returning favourites. And if you know me, you're going to know what they are at the drop of the hat. All right. So, Shanna Lee, let's get in with cherries, eh? <laughs> So, Cherries is basically an online bargain shop. They do everything from food, snacks, health and beauty, garden bits. They have certain seasons throughout the year. So, if there's any occasions like Mother's Day, Father's Day, the Jubilee, Easter, they have like a little seasonal section. Honestly, guys, the majority of stuff ranges from around £1 to £2. You do get some things that could be 3 4 5 but it all depends which items you pick up. As I say, some bits for the garden might be a bit more expensive. They have certainly a wide selection of well-known brands that you would see on the street. But I'm just, I'm going to kick it off, okay, with a very good old classic that if you know me, you know when I go to any bargain shop, this is what I need to pick up. And also, this is something that Dada has now become obsessed with too. McCarty Gold. McCarty Gold Premium. I've just gone with the classic latte this time. So you get 10 sachets in here. And basically, it's for when I want to shush up my coffee at work. We don't have any coffee machines at work. It's literally black coffee, coffee with milk or tea. That's about as adventurous as our beverages get at work. Or water. We've got a water machine. So, on the days where I just fancy like, I want a Starbucks or a Costa, but I don't want to be paying the prices. I don't want to be paying delivery. Good to go. I have tried quite a selection of these. They show you cappuccino, chocolate cappuccino, latte macchiato. I've had quite a few. The Irish cream ones, however, they're my favourite because we all know I have such a love for Baileys. But yeah, these are cheap, cheerful. I believe these were one pound, pretty much the same as all the standard bargain shops. Don't knock them until you try them, all right? There's no point paying the prices of like, is it Nescafe and all of the Lux ones? McCarty Gold is all you need for your life. All right, my lovelies? What have we got? Right. You will notice as well with cherries, everything is very well packaged. So if there is anything that could potentially be breakable, leakable, anything like that, they do extra wrap it up. So what have we got in here? <gasps> Don't shout at me, okay? Don't shout at me. Yes, I know we are spring slash coming into summer. But I don't know about you, but the weather's been very hit and miss lately, isn't it? One day we've had perfect sunshine, the next day we've had torrential rain. One morning it is sweltering, the next morning I want to go and put the heating on. I don't know what's going on with the weather. So I picked this up and I believe this was £1.50. And it is an Air Pure Milana scented candle. Okay, we all know that your girl loves a candle. And that will never change. Currently as of now you can see there is one burning in the background. We have a Yankee Candle Watermelon. I burn candles, not just for the scent, it's for the ambiance, all right? I love the warmth you get off of it. I love the woodwick ones when they crackle. They just send me into another dimension. But yeah, I will have candles on all year round. The colder the season gets, the more we have. I mean, for the moment, we've just got the one there and it is purely for ambiance. It chills me out when I'm reading my book. It's just, it's very calming, you know? So I picked up this little beauty and this is Forever Berry, Cherry, Cranberry and Citrus Province. Oh, oh, that's very delightful. And you know what? I actually really like the little um, glass packaging that it's in. Tip, if once you use the candle, fill it up with cold water, put it on a shelf for a few days, and then it lifts the wax out. Because I like to, ones that I like the look of, I like to actually try and keep and reuse or something around the house with them. So, yes. If I remember correctly, they had a blue one, which I think was like fresh linen or something. But they had quite a large selection. And Air Pure, as we all know, 
you go is partial to a bit of air pure within the bulking shops whether it be the poof poofs the refills the diffusers candles your girl is all here for it so as i say with cherries you can go on the website and there is literally i'll probably insert a little clip here just scroll through all the different departments so as i say health and beauty you've got food and drinks there's children's bits there's stationery there's homeware cleaning bits absolutely everything you could think of is on there my lovelies all right and as i say i am a very very happy girl with it i am especially a happy girl that i managed to pick up these now these i believe were one pound or 125 i tried to get these in is it B&M or Home Bargains? One of them. And someone had taken packets out of all of the last four big packs. All of them was open and missing packs. Why do that? Why? I, I, I don't know what you benefit from doing that. So when I saw these on cherries, I was like, I need you. Because this is what I wanted to try as like a little morning snack or maybe mid-morning snacks. And it is Bellevue and Minis. You get six bags and they are the honey and chocolate chip flavour. Now, I don't know about you, okay, but i am still quite snacky even though i'm trying to be good i'm still getting snacky i think it's because where i go to the gym in the morning by the time i then drive to work i am starving and hmm, let's just say that a 45 gram portion of shredded wheat minis is about 12 or 13 pieces and that's not going to fill me up if I've just done an hour and 15 workouts. So I want to have like different varieties that are still going to be within my calorie control and that are good for you, but are not going to like bloat me out and make me feel absolutely terrible, you know, and just think I've just undone all of the hard work. So yeah, I'm very excited to try these. Per bag is 158 calories. So it's not too bad at all. And also with these, I think because they're going to be sweet, I'll get like my sweet craving because at the moment that is the only thing that I'm struggling, I'm having to rely on like my Lucozade and my Dextrosol tablets for my sugar intake because trying to cut all the sugar out, I have fruit teas now and I don't tend to put sugar in there. So I am trying, she says trying, trying to get a little bit better, you know, but it's all baby steps, you know, and when they're on cherries and they're that affordable price, why not? And it's a full pack. No one's been in there trying to rob the little packs out. Right. Looks like a cracker, didn't it? What have we got in here? What have we got? Oh, these, fabulous. If you need homeware bits like um, your cleaning and air freshers, bits like that, I, unless they're on offer, would not pay the prices of like Febreze. I just think it's so overpriced. Some of them at Christmas time can be £2.53 for an air freshener. I know it's Christmas scents, and do I get suckered in? Yes, of course, I still buy one over the festive period. But for general day-to-day -day use and general just around the house, inset air freshener, I got a vanilla and coconut fragrance one. I believe this was 99p a pound. Absolutely fabulous you can't go wrong they also had this in i believe like a fresh linen fresh water scent again and rose or lavender whichever one you're partial to but we all know vanilla and coconut that's kind of like a virgin pina colada to me so that went out straight in the online basket let's just say but i will say my lovelies it is very dangerous the online basket because you chop 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 and before you know it you've got 100 items that's how very uh, excessive it can get. You know, I love these. Oh my God, these are a returning favourite. Yes, I am 26 years old and am I a child? Yes. Yes, I'm a child. I'm growing a ripe old age of a year older at the end of the month. And am I going to change my mentality? No, I'm still going to have unicorn gems, okay? They are, again, perfect for a little sweet treat fix that are not going to be calorific i mean they're 92 calories that to me is the idea of a perfect snack like where i've been trying to be in my deficit and i'm like monitoring what i'm eating in that i would much rather have two or three different types of snacks that say 100 calories each than a greg sausage roll for example because when you weigh up and you see the calories on things you're like and i do think that now everything is shown even on justy it does make me think now if i go to order that pasty i'm like oh I'd rather not. And it does make you like reconsider your choices. But you get six packs. These are never going to go out of fashion. They did have the original ones. And they had like choco gems. Where I think they're literally just chocolate ones. Then they have a bear on the top. But 
I believe in unicorns. I'm not afraid to say that, okay? I think unicorns exist, so I'm going to eat them. Okay, unicorn gems are my friend forever and ever and always will be. Right, we've got a lot of random stuff in here. Shannon Lee, let's go. We've got another one like a cracker, eh? What is this? <gasps> right, I believe this was 150 or two pounds and it is fabulosa, but it's a multi-surface polish. Now, is it just me or a fabulosa absolutely smashing everything within the cleaning sector now? Fabulosa is everywhere. I rarely go into a and m and Home Bargains now and see like the large selections of Zaflora. Normally now in my stores, you get one shelf of Zaflora and then literally you have shelves and rows of Fabulosa, whether that be foam fresheners, disinfectants, sprays, polishes. So I got this in the Electrify scent. It says dust and shines, wood, glass, metal and plastic. Electrify. I don't think I've even ever smelt this in the air freshener. Let's air freshener disinfect it. Let's try not to inhale, but oh my god, that smells like an aftershave or a perfume. Very unisex. Oh, that's very pleasant. Well, I know what I'm going to be using to uh, clean my room for the old Jubilee video coming up. I will be using this, and you know what? As much as I love Sephora, it's not really a brand that I reach to when I go out. I much prefer reaching for Fabulosa. Zaflora, I only really go to at Christmas time. I am that person that as soon as I see the packaging, but maybe an unpopular opinion, I really preferred the old Sephora packaging. You know where they was all like different colours and that? Now, I think, if correct me if I'm wrong, it's just like a white box with the thing on. I think it's been made to look very aesthetically pleasing. But I like the bright colours. I like all of that. So, yeah, Fabulosa, you are winning for me, my lovely, all right? Oh, my God, I'm so happy I got this. If you've watched my videos, you know how long I've been trying to get one of these. This was one pound. I got my bun ring, my bun donor. We all know, as I say, I'm trying to do stuff with my hair now. And I got my two little space bun ones. But I wanted my donut one. It's not as big as I thought, I am going to say that, but for a quid, what, what do you expect? It's a decent size. By the time I put my hair around, I can do, I can do with that. Do with that, I can deal with that. I think I will still keep a look out in Primark, because Primark do like the giant donuts, well they used to. I am going back about 10 years though, so <laughs> who knows if they still do, I'm still on the hunt, but this absolutely perfect. One of you did say to me as well that um, Super Drug do them, so I may have a cheeky little looking Super Drug as well. Right, right, right. So, I got these with the intentions for mum, but I think I'm going to keep a couple for myself, all right? I miss chocolate. I miss chocolate so much. And all I sometimes want is a little chocolate bar. But I don't. I stop myself. However, I'm going to have a couple of these, I think. How many do we get in here? Four bars. So mum can have two and I'll have two. They're not too bad on the old calorie front, but crunches. One pound for four. So 25p a bar. I love honeycomb. Oh, my God. We went into m the other day and they had these chocolate little covered honeycomb pieces. Oh! I had to be pried away from that aisle. I was just like, oh, why, why? Like, that's all I want. So, I'm going to keep one of these in my drawer at work, just on the off chance that I get a little bit peckish, and I'll keep one here at home for me, as I say. Mama G, bless her, she's uh, trying to do the eating with me, but she says she doesn't eat much throughout the day, but how am I supposed to know that when I'm out, eh? How am I supposed to know? She could just be concealing all the evidence in the uh, rubbish bags, eh? <laughs> Oh, I've got another toothpaste, very standard, one pound. I've got the Colgate Sensitive with Sensi Foam. Never heard of that one before. Reaches all areas of your teeth. It says whitening, clinically proven for sensitive teeth. And as I say, this was one pound. I've got sensitive because I've noticed lately, I don't know why, but my gums are like really starting to bleed at the moment. I don't know if it's through stress or what makes gums bleed like i am quite vigorous when i brush my teeth i keep sorry about that it sounds like we've got changing rooms upstairs ain't that fabulous um 
I need to charge my electric toothbrush. So I have reverted back to a manual toothbrush these past few weeks. And yeah, I don't think my mouth is liking it at all, as I say. I am um, experienced quite a lot of bloody gums, which is probably TMI, but we're all friends here. So yeah, when I saw that and it says Scentsy Foam, I was like, oh, is it going to foam in my mouth? I'm easily uh, swayed, ain't I? So I was very, very intrigued with that. And then, ah, so... Because I'm trying to cut down on the sugars and everything like that, one of you lovelies actually said to try Candarelle. So it's a special offer one thirty nine, but this was one pound, and it's a delightful sweet taste, granular, low calorie sweetener. Now, I believe this to be. So I remember my nan used to have sweet eggs, but they used to come out in like little tablet forms, and you'd mix them in the tea. This, I guess, as it's granulated, is something I could say put on top of my cereal putting my tea on top of my fruit perhaps what does it say a teaspoon is two calories whereas a teaspoon of sugar is 16 calories no way one teaspoon of candorel is two calories and it is equivalent and as sweet as one teaspoon of normal sugar which is 16 calories you can have eight teaspoons of this to one sugar that's mind-boggling that is absolutely mind-boggling oh my god wow so yeah this is going to be something that i keep in my drawer at work and if it all goes to plan like putting on top of my cereal or my fruits or as i say maybe a little bit in my fruit tea i will be picking this up and keeping one indoors so thank you for that little uh shout out my lovelies it was one of you who said try counter and i was like oh when I was on the uh, Old Cherries app, I was like, that is what I need to look at. That is what I need to look at. Another little schneck, let's just say, the Cadbury Brunch Bars Chocolate Chip. Oat flakes, brown flakes, choc chips, crispies, a drizzle of honey and dipped in milk chocolate. I mean, could you want anything else? Five bars, one pound, once again, my lovelies, one pound. One pound, and again, it's another little snack. You're probably thinking, Shan, if you're healthy eating, you shouldn't really be snacking. But when I do snack, I like to have good snacks, and I like there to be a choice. I like there to be a variety. And if I feel that I'm being a little bit naughty having some chocolate, when actually I'm not, who who's to judge, eh? Who's to judge? We've still got quite a lot in here. Oh, my goodness. Right. What is this wrapped up? What is this wrapped up? my christmas oh i remember this now if you've seen any of the previous cherry hauls i have a thing for buying like the garden ornaments and i don't put them in the garden i put them on the window shelf in the kitchen because they're only like miniature if i remember correctly i've got a sheep a duck and i think i've got an owl or a dog this was two pound, okay. I got a hedgehog. So it's like this faux grass, and then it's like this pebbled stone effect. Cannon! Focus cannon, there we go. Pebbled stony effect. And then this fake grass, but oh my god. So cute! You're gonna go with all your friends! Oh my god, I need to make space for him now on the shelf. You need to be maybe fit in between the solar wobblers. Oh, he's so cute. So cute. And this is what I mean, right? Yes, you can get all the practical stuff from cherries. But if you just want to be impractical and buy a garden ornament for your kitchen shelf, why not? Hey, Absolutely why not, my lovelies. Who says you can't? Da, 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 da. This is by the brand Sealer Pack, which I think I've bought something before. I think I've bought like the toasty bags, the ones where you just put the sandwich in, then put it in the toaster machine and it pops up. And they are fat reducing pads. Quick, healthy, cooking and simple. Soaks up any excess fat from burgers, sausages, bacon and chops. Ideal for use in the grill and oven and it keeps them clean. So these were one pound once again. And I think, how many do you get in here? Oh, it's a three pack. So. I have been having a breakfast on the weekends lately, which I saw online, and it's like the breakfast bagel. And let me just tell you, 
hands down absolutely love it i want to make some more of my breakfast muffins that i used to do basically like an omelette mixture i put them in cake cases bung them in the tin and then put them in the oven bung them in a tin well actually you don't need the cake cases if you grease the tin but hey ho put them in the oven and they're like little mini like muffin omelette cakes i do this bagel and i use a brown bagel i slice two chicken sausages in half I have a slice of bacon. I am trying to find an alternative bacon. I'm going to try turkey rashers. And also I'm going to try just the medallions. Like without the fat on. Yes I do still keep the fat on. Because it's my treat of a weekend. Okay. I normally have that on a Saturday after I've come back. And I've already done like my six hours of exercise. So I'm going to treat myself to a little bit of bacon. And then I put a fried egg on top. And when you put the bagel on top. It squashes the yolk. And it all runs out absolutely deliciosa but i do the bacon and the sausages under the grill now and mum has to keep putting tin foil down bless her whereas this is just gonna soak it all up how handy is that 35 centimeters by 20 centimeters free pack very excited to use that and as i say if you see the next fitness vlog or any cooking videos coming up best believe they will be uh, included in that my lovelies right you know i said <laughs> they do like things for say like easter father's day mother's day everything like that they do have a little jubilee section okay and i saw these and i just i just had to pick them up i just had to pick them up to get in the festive spirit okay i got a 50 pack of union jack picks you're probably thinking shannon lee they are so tacky i don't care i'm gonna hopefully do some baking over the four day weekend so I could put these in my cakes. I could make some maybe sausage rolls. I could get some cocktail sausages. Oh my God, cocktail chicken sausages. Is that even a thing? <gasps> I need to have a look if that's even a thing. I could do a little bit of sandwich. I could do like little rolls. I'm, ju I'm just a sucker, okay? I'm just a sucker for this. And I actually made an order with, I think it's called the Royal Gift Shop. I bought a couple of books, I bought a souvenir, and I bought like a shoe tote bag for like shopping. I love old Queenie, all right? And did anyone see the photo of her when she opened that new train line? Oh, didn't she look adorable? She looked like a little sunflower. Unpopular opinion, but yes, I do still love a bit of Queenie. So, da -da 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 -da. what have we got in here? What have we got in here? Oh, we've had a leakage. No. Right. Oh, but it smells great in here, though. So, let's just lift all this up. This is probably my own fault. Because you've just seen what it is as it's come out. I don't need any more of these. I really don't. So, it's probably my own fault for ordering another one. But what's a girl to do, eh? So, for one pound, I picked up another bath product. Okay, don't moan at me. I picked up the original source Tingly Mint and Tea Tree. As I say, one pound Canon. There we go. One pound. And I absolutely love a bit of original source at the moment. We all know I have a bath care addiction, okay? Um, but I've kind of fallen... I wouldn't say I've fallen out of love with the products as such. I've fallen out of love with the price. I used to hands down body shop every birthday, Christmas. I'd love all their shower gels. But I do feel they've put the price up quite a bit. And the only time I think that I would purchase them is if I go to the outlet centres and I can get like the huge bottles of my four favourite scents, which is the strawberry, grapefruit, mango and satsuma. Don't get me wrong, I still do partake in autumn when they release the vanilla pumpkin. That is a tradition. And I might partake in a few of the Christmas scents. But the few Christmas scents the past few years, I feel have really been lacking. And I think the bottles now are about £5.56. I mean, these are a pound. So I could get five or six of them for the same price. I mean, Mama G would probably not like that because there's not room to swing a cat in there at the moment. We've still got plenty of bath bombs, which are slowly going down because not yet but before you know it, we're gonna have the lush autumn haul ain't we the lush autumn and halloween haul of which i'm very very excited about so yes i've got a bath product my lovelies but there is all packaging inside the box so it hasn't leaked through which is just fabulous all right ba -ba 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 -ba. savory snack time now my qualms with these all right it's a six pack for a pound standard 
But my lovelies, these packs are getting smaller and smaller. They literally are getting smaller and smaller. I mean, I could have a couple of packs at a time and not feel too bad about it. But who remembers the big giant share bags of them? I can't find share bags of Space Raiders anywhere. Nada. Not in any of my local shops, supermarkets, my corner shops, nothing at all can I find share bags. The only share bags I find at the moment are the big What's It. And oh my god, I'm still yet to try them. I think I'm going to hold it off for my next cheat day. The new What's It Crunches. I really want to try them because I think they're just going to be like giant knickknacks. Well, I'm hoping they're going to be like giant knickknacks. So yes. I would probably have two of these at a time still because they are tiny. You probably get 10 little pieces per pack. And that would probably be a good pack if you got 10. And yeah, I'm just... I mean, they are baked. They're not fried. So they're not too terrible for you. And it's everything in moderation. When I want me sweet fix, I've got me sweeties. And when I want me savoury fix, I've got me crisps. Crisps, crisps, crisps. What's this? Oh yeah, I saw this for a pound. Now, we all know I don't really have much fizzy drinks anymore. It is just purely H2O with maybe lemon in it or sometimes sparkling water. I am still partial to sparkling water. But I saw this and it just caught my eye. It's called the Rubicon Raw Energy Orange and Mango made with 20% fruit juice. So I thought, you know what? It's kind of like a healthy energy drink in a way. I mean, I know energy drinks are not the greatest for you, but... It's got 20% fruit juice, natural caffeine from green coffee beans, guarana, B vitamins, ginseng. I mean, it's no harm to try, is it? So I thought on those days where I'm feeling a bit meh, this is what I need to boost me up. I mean, I would love to drink that when I'm at the gym, but I, I don't think my body would be able to cope with it. I'd probably end up going into shock or something. And we don't want that, do we? essential one pound dove go fresh but i got the pear and aloe scent this time we all know i am either the cucumber one or pomegranate they did used to do a lemon one if i remember correctly but i haven't seen that for a while so i thought i'd give it a go always like to be fresh and on the go and as i say now because i'm doing more classes and more things i've actually got two gym bags on the go so both of my bags i like to have a kit for say like dry shampoo hairbrush roll on like clothing sanitizers everything like that so yeah now i have two kit bags so don't say i'm not going to the gym when you've got two kit bags all right i actually have one bag for in the week and my classes oh <coughs> sorry about that my lovelies i have a gym bag for my classes and in the week and then on sunday it's a completely separate bag because it is my swimming bag so i always have my cosy my um towel my hat not really a fan of wearing the hat though i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna try and um skip that one out if i can oh what is going on with the hair behind the ear i've just seen that i do apologize if that's been like that the whole video my lovelies now this i believe this was two pound or two pound fifty again fabulosa mama g absolutely loves these um they are laundry cleansers up to 20 washes but it's for a cold 20 degree wash so this is perfect when Mama G does like a hand washing or anything like that. She absolutely loves these. I think last time, Canon, there we go. Um, I think last time I picked it up and it was like a daisy. It was a yellow bottle if I remember correctly. But this one, what are we called? Fresh Breeze. And that, it all reminds me of Lenore. Like the blue Lenore, like a fabric softener. Well, actually, Shan, that's what it is. It's a laundry cleanser, but you know what i mean you know what i mean so yeah these are perfect and as i say she loves it if it's going in for hand wash she likes to put a bit of a uh, disinfectant detergent in let's stand you up because we don't need you leaking about do we and i don't need you crushing me unicorn gems either right what do we got ah don't shout at me Another little item from Air Pure. I got some wax melts up to 150 hours of fragrance per pack. And I got the Tahitian Sunset. As you can tell, I'm trying to get in the holiday vibe because fingers crossed I will be getting abroad this year. But, oh. Oh my God. If that is not just holiday in a wax melt, I don't know what is. Oh, and I love that they're like individually cut already. I haven't got to break them apart. Oh, how can I describe that? 
just think a mixture of cocktails, suntan lotion, fresh fruit. Oh, I love that. I need to get my wax milk burner right now. Okay, we're going to scrap and not just have the one candle now. We're going to have the wax milk burners because these smell blooming delightful. And as I say, air pure, you can't go wrong. You actually cannot fault air pure. Got my little older washing up liquid. Fairy liquid, clean and fresh apple orchard. Improved scent, 433 ml. And I believe this was one pound. So not bad for a bit of fairy, eh? I was looking at the jumbo ones, but mum moans because the jumbo ones can't fit under the cupboard. So she's like, just get a normal size. Let's see, new improved scent. Are you going to be stronger? Oh, tangy, like a clean and fresh apple, but like a tangy apple, not like a stewing sweet apple. That is fresh, you know, like a Granny Smith apple. <gasps> oh, well, don't say I don't treat your mama, G. Well, I didn't treat you, Cherries did. So she's going to be very thankful, isn't she? And then oh, I picked this up, as I say, just in case sometimes... I'm not feeling drinking water and not really feeling the lemon juice or anything in particular. Picked up a bottle of Vimto No Added Sugar Real Squash. This is great. Now, tell me, how do you have your juices, my lovelies? Do you have them strong or are you like me and you have them weak? I literally put the tiniest amount in, fill it with water, have a taste and then just like add slowly. Mama G, she feels like a quarter of the cup up and then she's good to go. I like my juices very, very weak. I don't know why, it's just I don't like it too strong, you know. And it's a source of vitamin C and D. Oh, it tells you here, dilute one part of Vimto with four parts of water. 14 servings. Not bad for a quid, eh? 14 servings. And then... I get so excited by stuff like this now. Does it? Does it is the brand. Super size, 25% bigger and stronger. These were one pound and they are antibacterial wipes. 50 jumbo wipes extra strong. Now, how annoying is it when you go to use a wipe and you go to put it somewhere and it just goes and it just tears? You don't want that. I've had these ones before. I think I've had the, um, the kitchen ones. These are, again, one pound. It says for use on kitchen services, waste bins, bathrooms, etc. Kills 99.9% .9 of the bacteria. You can't, you can't say anymore, can you? The only thing I would say, make sure you keep that little flap down. Because if you leave it up or any air gets in, you've ruined them. They're going to get dry. So, yeah, keep the air flap down. Keep the moisture in. And does it... It will indeed. And then we're getting to our last few final things, my lovelies. So, I love it. They've put my snack in a little basket for me. These, again, they're not the best of treats. I've just read them, but it doesn't matter. So, each portion is eight wafers. And it's 207 calories. So, it's a little bit higher than the majority of snacks. But these are for when I kind of want, like, if I have a nice coffee, so my macchiato gold... I like these on the side. You would have seen I've had these before. Again, I think £1 or £1.50. And they're by the brand Waffo. And they're vanilla bites. And literally, they're just wafer pieces with vanilla cream. You can get them with chocolate, I believe. And also possibly strawberry, I think I've seen. But these remind me of... Now, can't remember. It's not exactly the same. Do you know, like, um, along the lines of, like, biscotti... Like the crunchy biscuits with the tea. These are like a perfect tea and coffee biscuit. So when I am craving that and I still can't be trusted to open a pack of digestives at the moment and not eat the whole pack. So I can portion myself up eight of these little wafers and I'm good to go. Oh, I'm actually excited for them because these are kind of a balance of sweet and savoury. Because you've got the savoury biscuit and then you've got the sweetness of the cream. So it just, it works both ways, doesn't it? Oh my god. Actually, no, I thought we only had two products left. We've got quite a few. Oh, I remember this. I picked this up for one pound and it was just a little pen with a little silver heart on it. You see that, my lovelies? Picked that up in the stationery section just for, do I need any more pens? Absolutely not, but did I see it and love it? Yeah, I might give that to Mama G, actually. Don't say I don't treat you. As I say, Cherry's treated you very kindly. Oh, this I'm very excited for. So this is Fragrance Oil by the brand Eden. And I've got it in Eucalyptus. It says simply add a few drops to oil burners, reed diffusers, dried flowers or electric aroma diffusers to fill your home. Now, I am on the hunt for a good electric diffuser. The aroma diffusers, they call them. I don't quite know where I'm going to put it. 
because where I was going to put it was on my boxes at the end of my bed but that is now where my galaxy projector is and can I just say my galaxy star projector is probably the best thing that I've bought this year well apart from my baby my new bag but um, <laughs> that galaxy projector I just chill at night I have that, my candle on, I'm reading, I'm in a whole nother universe, okay, I'm in a whole nother universe. This was one pound, my lovelies, for 10 mil, and as I say, it's just a little aroma thing, and I've seen a few on Amazon, but I'm very particular, I don't know what style I want yet, and I don't know which shape I want yet. I'm thinking I would potentially want a marble effect, but I'm not too sure. So that's the little bottle, should we give it a whiff? Should we give it a whiff, eh? Hopefully it's not gonna, oh, there we go. You know how much I love like eucalyptus, tea tree, mint, everything like that. Oh, that's perfect. You know what? That would be really nice in a little wax melt burner and pop it in the bathroom when I put, say, my Dr. Teals in there. And then it's just all stress-free and zen. Going to look for that. And going to look for that. Going to actually put that to use and put it in action. Now, I saw these and I thought this is what my skin has been crying out for. My skin the past few weeks has been a bit problematic. I don't know if you can tell on camera. I'm very blotchy. Um, I've had a few little breakouts as well, which I don't know. It's kind of hidden, but underneath it's quite blotchy. Um, I think that is from the gym. I think that's from the sweat, which is why now i'm trying to get like a proper little bag together in both of my gym bags so that when i finish i take that extra five ten minutes just to try and sort my skin out and make sure it's like clear from the sweat and everything like that so i saw these for a pad and it's by the brand beauty formulas now i've picked up quite a few bits from this uh, brand before through cherries and all of the other bargain shops and these are activated charcoal eye gel passes passes patches enriched with vitamin c so you get six pairs for a pound and we all know how good charcoal is for us. Um, i done a charcoal face mask the other day, but it was the one where you put it on and then you put it off. Ooh! I had a lot of pores on my nose, all right, and my skin felt great after and then now it's just started <laughs> blotching out, which is great. But I think these are going to be like soothing patches. I don't think it's going to be ones where when you pull them off, they're going to pull the skin. Oh, hold on a minute. What does it say? Easy to apply. Ensure the skin is clean and free. Leave for 20 to 25 minutes and gently remove each patch, taking care not to pull the skin. After removal, gently massage the area. So I don't think that these would potentially be the ones like when you do the things and the nose strips and they pull because they do look quite jellyfied. But yeah. I shall let you know how I get on with them. I might include them in a pamper routine I've got coming up, all right? And then the last two little things, they are the same. I picked two of these up, and I believe they were one pound each. I just wanted some little baskets. Oh, it's a pack of two. Was it two for two pound then? I think it possibly could have been. Um, I wanted some little baskets just for the kitchen to put in some of my favourite snacks. So, like, my graze boxes and my bits from my protein, like the little bars. How cute are they? They're just like a little rope design, I would say. Like a little... Yeah, it looks like a knitted rope style, ain't it? And then you have got a little bit on there if you wanted to write anything, I suppose. But I'm not organised like that, am I? It's just I want to put my snacks in there so I can see my snacks. And my lovelies, that is done. And now I can get into telling you the good part. So, if you are a new customer... And you have never shopped on cherries before, my lovelies. I have a discount code for you, which is all things 25. I shall put it down there and it'll also be in the description box below. But basically, if you are a new customer on your very first order with cherries, you can get 25% off, all right? If you are a returning subscriber and a returning follower, a returning shopper of cherries, I do apologize. This code is not valid for yourself. But if you are a newbie, and as I say, you haven't heard of cherries or you're thinking, what is all this about? You can get 25% off of your first order, all right? So as I say, thank you very much to cherries for giving that to you guys and obviously gifting me this fabulous selection because now my bed is filled and that means we have come to the end of the haul my lovelies <laughs> so i think from today's haul you can basically see that cherries do a bit of everything and anything whether you want snacks some organization bits stationery garden features i mean even a little bit for the jubilee eh 
even a little bit for old Queenie. There is everything and anything. And as I say, you can do it all from the comfort of your home. You can do it on your work lunch break. And you can just get it delivered to your house. You haven't even got to worry about the unpacking or anything at all of that, my lovelies. And also, with cherries, you can earn cherries. So you earn cherries from however much you spend. And you can build points up and get rewards down the end. You can refer friends. There are so many little benefits to signing up and having a little cherries account that in the end, you get a little reward back too and i mean ain't that what we all like a little bit of a reward in life i think we all deserve it don't we but yes sir uh, if you did enjoy the video guys you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below as i say leave me a comment what was your favorite bit from the haul have you shopped on cherries before or are you a newbie you're gonna take advantage of that discount code let me know down below and as i say yes thank you once again to cherries for very kindly gifting me these items and also giving you guys a new a little new code if you're going to be a new little shopper on the website, okay? But yes, take care, stay safe as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!